Hey, hey. Hi, lovely people in Vancouver. How's it going tonight? Very good. Um, my name is Yumi, and I am originally from Japan. Have you ever been there? Where in Japan did you go? Hokkaido. Hokkaido? Never heard of. <laughs> Dad is a really old school Japanese man. He likes to be the man of the house, you know? And the last time when I visited my parents, I brought a fancy Okanagan wine as a souvenir. And my mom was like, oh, let's use our special wine glasses for a special wine. But then she dropped one of the glasses and there were broken glasses on the floor. And my dad came in and said, everyone, do not move. <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> Let me take care of it. <laughs> and he took like three steps and went, I think I stepped on the glass. Yumi, <laughs> <laughs> can you give me rubbing alcohol? <laughs> and he lifted up his foot, and it was a tiny piece of rice cracker. <laughs> I love my dad. <laughs> His name is Eijiro, the man of the house with the pain tolerance of Italian soccer player. <laughs> um, I get really jealous of white comics who can do jokes about celebrity comparison. <laughs> like, hey. Don't I look like Jack Black, but fatter? <laughs> or like, hey, don't I look like Steve Buscemi had a love child with Steve Buscemi? <laughs> because we have only four Asian celebrities <laughs> who are famous enough to do comparison jokes. Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Lucy Liu, and Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> and they all look related to me. <laughs> it's true, imagine Jackie Chan had a child with Lucy Liu. Then imagine Bruce Lee had a love child with me. Would you be able to tell apart those two children? <laughs> Well, I couldn't. <laughs> I have, I have, what you call it, non-threatening sweet Japanese lady face. <laughs> and I didn't know about it when I was living in Japan with a bunch of sweet Japanese ladies. <laughs> I didn't realize racism existed in the world. <laughs> But then when I go outside Japan, I experience racism firsthand. Like when my friends want me to be in their photos, they go, Hey Yumi, do the girl from the ring. <laughs> Put your hair in front of your face. <laughs> and I do it. <laughs> because I am an entertainer. <laughs> and I'll be like... <coughs> there we go. <laughs> and when I get on a bus, people tend to sit next to me because they just assume Japanese people are small and have good hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I decided to wear a gigantic mask to make people think I have thirds. <laughs> <laughs> this is why Asian people wear masks. <laughs> They're not sick. <laughs> They're sick of you. <laughs> Sometimes I notice white people confuse me with other Asian women and my friends say, that's racist. But I don't think so because face recognition skill is nothing to do with racism. It's racial familiarity. I have trouble distinguishing white people too. <laughs> This is why I still can't tell the difference between Zoe Deschanel and Katy Perry, <laughs> <laughs> Julia Roberts and Steven Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> and Matthew McConaughey and brown leather recliner. <laughs> Do you think it's me to Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> he wouldn't care. His net worth is 95 million. He wouldn't be able to tell difference between me and rice cracker. <laughs> Let's talk about Japanese hottest kitten. <laughs> Hello Kitty. <laughs> But have you ever noticed Hello Kitty has no mouth? Because apparently in Japan, women are so beautiful when they don't talk. <laughs> we are trained to cover our mouth when we laugh in order to hide the secret that we have voice, we have sense of humor, and we have really jacked up teeth. <laughs> Joking aside, I moved to Canada from Japan because Canada had better society for women. Yeah. You strong, quality Canadian women give me courage to dispute my phone bill like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> you go, girl.